Well, friends, I'm Nisha. You can train this reality show in complete detail, step by step, how you can start a successful and profitable blog with WordPress using only free resources. I'll also teach you how to use ChatGPT to create original blog posts with artificial intelligence and then we'll see how to properly optimize these blog posts for better SEO score to rank higher on Google and Bing search results. Now this is not just a regular blog tutorial because frankly speaking creating a blog is really easy and there is nothing special about it. The main part of any successful blog is knowing how to write a blog post then how to do proper SEO of the blog post to make sure that your blog post ranks higher in Google and Bing search results. So in this video, I'll be showing you in complete detail how to do all these things. And not only that, we'll also learn how to integrate our website with Google Search Console and Google Analytics. With that, we'll also see how to download free professional stock images for the website and that too without any copyright issues. And because this is a blogging tutorial, I'll also cover email marketing and affiliate marketing in this video. Now before we proceed further, before I show you how to create this website step by step, let me first show you a quick demo of the website that you will be creating in this video. So you get a better idea about the website that you will be creating in this video if you follow my step by step tutorial. Now first of all, this is the website that we will be creating. If you see from top to bottom, this is the homepage, a very simple and professional looking website. I've covered everything in this website. For example, this is the affiliate section. Then after that, if you see, this is the blog section at top. If you see, this is the email marketing section. If you see at the very top, we have our header at the left hand side in the header, we have the logo. Then at the right hand side, we have this simple menu. We also have this search bar because if somebody is looking or searching for any specific blog post, they can search for that. Then we have our hero section. This is the home page and first section. We have our hero section here. We have a nice big title over here. And because I'm using this color, you can see this color, this purple color. I've used this color as my primary color. You will see this color throughout the website. So here also, if you see this full stop color is also this primary color. So this makes things a little bit beautiful. Then after that, we have our subtitle and then we have this email form. So this is your newsletter form. If you want to do email marketing, you can collect free email addresses from here. So people can enter your visitors can enter their email addresses and they can click on this button. Once they click on the button, they will automatically be added or their email address will automatically be added in any list that you have created. I'll show you how to do that thing. Then I've added this simple testimonial over here. This is the you know testimonial image. This is basically the image of the person who is saying something positive about your website. Then we have this text testimonial and then we have the name of the person. Then at the right hand side, we have this image. Now this is a free image that I downloaded from one specific website. I'll show you how we can download these kind of images, these kind of professional images for absolutely free without any copyright issues. Then we'll see how to add these kind of shapes, unique shapes to these images. Then if you see in the background, I have changed the color of the background. So this is basically your hero section. Then if you scroll down, we have the featured article section. So I've featured few articles on my homepage. Now this is the most important part of any blog post, writing articles and make sure you're making sure that these articles are nice, you know, original articles and these are SEO friendly. Now if you open any one of these articles, for example, let's open this one, top 10 best WooCommerce plugins, maximize your online store's potential. Now here again, if you see the thumbnail, this image that you see over here, this is also a free image that I got from one specific website. Then if you scroll down, this is the title. Now this title was suggested by ChatGPT because we want to make sure that our articles are not only catchy, so we want to have a catchy article and with that we also want our articles to be SEO friendly. And here I have chosen this thing as my focus keyword. WooCommerce plugins is the focus keyword. Now I'll explain you about what a focus keyword is, how you can use this focus keyword and so on. So you can see this is the focus keyword. This is present in the title. If you see the URL bar, this is also very important what your link is, what your permalink is. This is also very important for SEO thing. So here I have shortened this URL bar. I have shortened my permalink and I've included my, you know, focus keyword over here, WooCommerce plugins. This is my focus keyword. So I've included my focus keyword in the permalink as well. I'll explain you about all these things later on in this video. Then I'll show you and I'll explain you how you can write a high quality blog post. For example, this is a blog post. First, we are first we write a simple introduction for the blog post and make sure that your you know your paragraphs are pretty small. So here, as you can see, just four or five lines paragraph. 
then we have a table of content again very important both for readability and also for seo then if somebody wants to learn for any specific plugins they can see that thing and after that we have used headlines again very important and we have created these kind of you know free images now i'll show you how you can create these kind of images images are very very important for both for readability and also for your seo ranking so this is an image that i created using a free online tool i'll show you how you can use that tool to create these kind of images for absolutely free and that too without within few minutes so there are already hundreds of different layouts and templates created you just have to import those templates and you have to enter your own text then i've included these kind of buttons over here there could be some external links some internal links and these could be also affiliate links so these will help you to generate some extra income through these blog posts then again we have another option and so on okay then at the end you will see your conclusion so i'll explain you in complete detail how you can write these kind of high quality seo friendly high readability better readability as you know articles and blog post then people can come they can also share these blog posts on different social media platforms on twitter facebook wherever they want and after that you, you can also suggest them few more blog posts if they have any question if they have if they want to you know type in anything over here they can post their comment and click on post comment now at the right hand side of this blog post we have the search bar we have the about the author again we have another newsletter we have social media icons and we have some recently added post so this is how your single blog post looks like it might look very simple but this is you know a lot of things are going on in the back background for this blog post which you'll learn in this video now if you again come back to your home page and if you scroll down here as you can see this is how the archive design looks like then at the bottom we have the best wordpress plugin so maybe i'm creating a website or a blog for wordpress related things so i can recommend some plugins some themes and i can add my affiliate link so that i can get some extra income i'll show you how you can you know get these kind of images and how to use how to create these kind of affiliate links then at the bottom i've created a very simple footer you can see and at the very bottom we have our copyright text so this was your home page now if you click on the blog page you will see your blog archive page so this is how your blog archive page looks like so basically all the blog posts in one page okay so if 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 somebody wants to see all your blog post date wise they can see it like this okay then you can also go to any specific category for example if you want travel tips related to uh, no blog post related to travel tips you can click on this particular link and you will be redirected to you know blog post related to this particular category then we'll also see how to create a contact page so that if somebody wants to contact you they can fill in this form and they can contact you you will get all their details and if you want you can contact them back now again let me come back to the home page so this was a very quick demo of the website that you will be creating in this video again i am saying front end is not that important most important thing is your back end how to write a blog post how to use chat gpt to generate content for your blog post and so on which you will be learning in detail in this video all right so this was a very short demo of the website that you will be creating i hope you like the demo website now if you like this demo website and if you want to create this website make sure to watch the complete tutorial now before we proceed further make sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss any future notifications now if you like this video give a thumbs up to this video and share it with your friends on facebook twitter whatsapp whatever social media platform you use and throughout the video if you have any doubts any comments any suggestions for me you can always leave them in the comment section below and now let's start creating this website Right so now to create any kind of website whether it's an e-commerce website a simple blog business website e-commerce website any kind of website we need two basic things a domain name and a hosting account a domain name is the name of the website or the url of your website for example blogdude.com youtube.com google.com nayashik.com all these things are different domain names so we'll also have to register a domain name on the internet so that whenever someone wants to visit your website they can simply type in this domain name in the browser url bar and they can land on your website now the second and the most important thing is your website's hosting hosting is basically a server or a computer wherein your entire website is saved so if you see this website all these different pages media files all these images database this entire website is saved in a server and that server is running 24/7 so that whenever someone wants to visit your website from any particular country at any given time they can always see your website live because your server is always up and running 
Now hosting is the most important thing about your website because everything related to your website is directly or indirectly dependent on your hosting. So your website speed, your website's performance, the user experience on your website, your website security and even your website's ranking in Google and Bing search results is totally dependent on your hosting. So if you selected a good and reliable hosting, your website speed and performance will be amazing. User experience on your website will be very good. For anybody to attack or hack your website, it will be almost impossible. And most importantly, you will get better ranking in Google search results. And obviously, in contrast to that, if you select a cheap and crappy hosting, everything will be opposite of that. Now, there are literally thousands of different hosting providers available in the market. But unfortunately, only a handful of them are really good enough to consider. But you don't have to worry about that. You can simply do one thing. Open a new tab and type in blogdo.com slash hostinger. Now you'll be redirected to a new page. In fact, you don't even have to type in this thing. This link is also given to you in the video description below. So you can simply click on that link and you should be redirected to this page. Now this is the only thing that you need to purchase. Rest everything, themes, plugins, softwares, everything is absolutely free. Without hosting, we just cannot proceed further. But don't worry, I am recommending you the best, the most affordable, but still at the same time, the fastest hosting available in the market. Very affordable, but very good hosting. And most importantly, we are not using the regular web hosting. We are using the WordPress hosting because we'll be using WordPress to create this blog. We are using WordPress hosting as you can see. So make sure you use that link so you're redirected to the WordPress hosting. Most of the times if you just go to Hostinger, you will be redirected to the web hosting. We don't want to use web hosting. That is not really fast. So you should always make sure you click on hosting and you select WordPress hosting. Okay, or again, I'm saying you can simply click on that link and you will you'll automatically be redirected to the WordPress hosting page. Now, this is the hosting that we want to use. If you scroll down, you can see they have amazing, very positive reviews and ratings on Trustpilot. Then if you scroll down again, you will see there are four different plans available. Single WordPress, WordPress Starter, Business WordPress and WordPress Pro. Now, for most of you guys, I would recommend you to start with the WordPress Starter package. Very simple, very affordable package. You can start with this package. So you can click on add to cart and you can proceed further. But let me very quickly show you what all things you get with this hosting package that you're going to purchase. First of all, with this package, you can create up to 100 websites. So today you're creating this website maybe for a specific niche. You're creating this blog for a specific niche. Maybe tomorrow if you want to create another blog for another niche, for another market, or maybe if you want to create another e-commerce website or something like that. Now for that, again, you don't have to purchase a new hosting. You can host all your websites in one hosting. So you can host up to 100 websites in one hosting. So you just purchase this hosting once and for all your future websites, you can host all of them in this particular hosting. Then after that, we get 100 GBs of SSD storage. Now just to give you some idea, this website that you see on your screen, this website, the, the entire size of this website is hardly 200 MBs. So technically, uh, you know, if you want, you can create you know, five different websites for just one GB of SSD storage. And here you're ge getting 100 GBs of SSD storage. So you don't have to worry about this space. You have more than enough space. Even if you create like a million different blog posts, still your website size will not be more than two or three GBs. So don't worry about this space. And most importantly, this is SSD storage. These guys at Hostinger are using the SSD server to host your website. An SSD server is approximately 30 to 40 times faster as compared to other regular HDD servers. So this is really important step. Then we are also getting free domain name. So you don't have to purchase the domain name. You'll get your domain name for free. We also have unlimited bandwidth. So many different hosting providers, they have a monthly data transfer limit. Here we don't have any such limit. We have unlimited data transfer limit or unlimited bandwidth. We also get unlimited free SSL certificate. So if you see my demo website here, you will see this lock pad over here. So if you click on that lock pad, you will see it says this website is secure. This connection is secure. So this is really important. This is technically what an SSL certificate is. And here you can get unlimited free SSL certificate. Then if you scroll down for security, you are getting Cloudflare, CDN. Then after that, you're also getting free business email account, free migration. So instead of a regular email account like nayer at gmail.com, you can create a business email account like nayer at blogdude.com. So you can use your website name as your email address. So very important. For WordPress option, because we are using WordPress hosting for WordPress option, we have some other option like manage WordPress, WordPress acceleration. 
So here these guys are using server-based caching to improve your website speed and performance. Then after that we have for more, more option you can click on all features to, to see that. Now I would recommend you to just click on this you know, pink or this red add to cart button. Now once you click on this button you will automatically be redirected to this page. Here first of all you have to choose a period. You will have to choose a billing cycle. For how long do you want to purchase this hosting? 12 months, 24 months or 48 months. Okay, we have multiple options. If you purchase for 12 months, you will get it for $3. In fact, the pricing will be increased, but there is some, you know, sale going on. That is the reason why you see same pricing for all three plans. But basically what will happen is for 12 months, the pricing will be different for 24 months, different and for 48 months, it will be a little bit more discount. Now here, if you see for, if you purchase for one year for 12 months, you will get this big discount, this amazing discount for one year. Then after one year, you will have to pay the regular price. But if you go with 24 months or two years, you will get this amazing discount on both the years. Okay, so you'll get this discount for two years and for the third year, you'll have to pay the regular price. And similarly, if you want, you can go with the four years or 48 months plan and you will get this amazing 75% discount on all four years. So you'll have to keep, you know, you know you'll have to, you know, pay the regular price after four years. So this is really amazing. And that too, even after four years, you don't have to purchase the regular price of $11.99 or $12. So you'll have to pay just $6.99 or $7 per month. So even after four years, your pricing is heavily discounted. So I would highly recommend you to go with the 48 months plan or the four years plan. And if you, if you compare this pricing, if you scroll down, you can see for four years, you just have to pay like $170. And if you, if you enter my coupon code, if you click on this thing, have a coupon code. And if you enter my coupon N-A-Y-Y-A-R and click on apply, you will see you will get even more discount. Now you just have to pay $150 for four complete years. And here you're getting 78% of total discount. Now if you compare this with other hostings, for example, earlier I was recommending A2 hosting. Now for A2 hosting, if you go, you can go and try it yourself. If you try to purchase hosting for the first year and that too I'm recommending, I'm talking about the web hosting, regular web hosting. I'm not talking about WordPress hosting on A2 hosting. If you go with web hosting, the regular hosting on A2 hosting, you'll have to purchase, you'll have to pay around $135 for the first year, only for one year. And for next year, you'll have to pay even more price. But here for $150, just for $20 more, you're getting hosting for four complete years. So this is really amazing. So the smartest thing obviously to do is to go with the highest plan that you can go with. Then the next option is to create your account. So to create an account with Hostinjoy, you just have to enter your email address. Just enter your email address and they will create an account for you. Just make sure that this email address is correct. You have access to this email address. Then if you scroll down, you have many different payment options. You can use any option to make the payment. For example, you have credit card, debit card, ATM card, PayPal, Google Pay, Alipay, CoinGate. And if you're watching this video from India, you'll have net banking, phone pay, razor pay, all those options. And similarly, if you're watching this video from some other country, you'll get even more options. Okay. So just enter or just select any payment method. And after that, click on this submit secure payment. All right. Now, once you click on that button and once you make the payment and once your payment is successful, you'll see this thing, your payment is successful. And now you'll automatically be redirected to a new page. Now in the, in the last step, in this previous step, we have entered our email address to create an account with the Hostinger. And in this step, we have to set a password. Okay, so set any password for your Hostinger account, whatever password you want. Just make sure this is a strong password, which means that you have used letters, numbers, special characters like asterisks, uh, you know, or colon, semicolon, something like that. So some special character as well. Make sure your password is strong and also make sure you remember this password because that email address that you've entered in your previous step and this password is going to be your login ID and password. So whenever you want to log into your Hostinger account, you'll have to enter this email and password. So make sure you remember this email and password. Now, once you enter your email and password, just click on this confirm button. And now you'll see this page. This is basically the hello page. Once you're doing this, once you're doing this process for the first time, this is kind of a welcome page. You don't have any options over here. You just have this button, start now button. Click on this button and a new process will start for you. First of all, they'll ask you a few questions like who you're creating this website for, for yourself, for a client, for a company you work for, or for somebody else. Based on your situation, your scenario, you can select any option. Then what kind of website you're creating, a business website, blog, portfolio, online store. Again, based on your situation, you can select any option you want. Now, this is just a simple survey. So if you want, you can fill in this survey, which will be 
very helpful this will help uh, people at hostinger to you know to learn more about people what kind of website they will be creating and so on or if you want you can you know completely skip this survey so you'll see this skip link at the bottom of the screen you know you can see this link click on the skip link and this process will be skipped for you and now they will ask you what platform you'll be using wordpress woocommerce or some other platform or even if you want you can migrate your website so if you already have a website created with some other hosting maybe if you're not really happy and satisfied with the speed and performance of that hosting and if you want to migrate to hostinger you can select the last option migrate my webs migrate my website but for most of you guys i would recommend you to select the first option wordpress option if you're doing this process for the first time so select this wordpress option click on the select button now once you click on this button you will see this page here you have to enter your email address and password now this email and password is for your wordpress account so whenever you want to log into your wordpress website this is the email and password that you have to enter so basically this is the email and password for your wordpress dashboard you have to remember this email and password as well okay this is also very important if you want you can enter the same email and password over here as well once you enter your email and password after that click on continue and now you will see this page now there are they you know they have created few pre-made uh, templates for you but we don't want to use these pre-made templates we are creating a different type of website so again i want to skip this step you will see the skip link again at the bottom click on that link and just skip this step now we have to choose our domain name there are three options over here claim a free domain as i said earlier we are getting a free domain second option is buy a domain third option is use an existing domain I'll explain you about all these options but first I would recommend you to select this first option claim a free domain because we want to register our domain name for free now whatever domain name you want to register you can enter that domain name over here for example there is a domain name that I want to register nayashake.co.in so you can type in nayashake over here and from the right hand side you have .co.in.com.net.in.icu.fund.link hundreds of different domain name extensions whatever domain name extension you want you can just search for that or you can just select that domain name extension and then after that you can click on search it will search whether this domain name is available or not if it is available it will it will show you that this domain name is available now once it is available you can click on continue and now you can proceed further with this domain name now there is one more option the third option use an existing domain now many times what happens is people register a domain name on some other website godaddy namecheap or some other website whenever they see there is any domain name available they register that domain so that some other people don't register that domain so if you already have a domain name registered or some other website maybe on godaddy namecheap or some other website and maybe if you know use that domain with hostinger you can select the third option use an existing domain so click on the select button and now enter that domain for example i have a domain name that i've registered on godaddy blogdude this is the domain blogdude so maybe i want to use this domain name with hostinger so i'll enter this domain name over here and after that i'll click on continue now once you click on continue in the next step it will show you this page uh, it will show you where this domain name is registered and what all are the current name servers we don't have to do anything over here just click on this continue button and again proceed further and now it will show you this page you uh, by based on your location it will automatically select your server location because i'm from india for me asia data center location or server location is selected if you want you can click on this and you can change your server location to some location in europe usa or some other location there are many different data center or server locations available i would recommend you not to change this thing but if you want you can do that thing as well and finally once you do that thing you can just click on this finish setup button and after that this setup will start completing for you basically what is happening right now is wordpress is getting installed on this new domain name that you have selected so this is a very small process hardly takes around 3 to 4 minutes so let's wait All right so here as you can see this setup is now 100% completed and now you will see this page don't have to do anything don't have to select anything over here just click on this logo this hostinger logo that you see at the top hostinger logo click on this thing and now you'll automatically be redirected to your edge panel and this is how your edge panel looks like now this edge panel is basically your control panel for your hostinger account it's a c panel they call it edge panel because of hostinger so from this page from here you will be controlling your hosting whatever option you want to do you want to create emails or business emails you want to control your hosting domains everything you will be doing it from here and whenever you want to come to this page you can just type in this link edgepanel.hostinger.com enter your email and password and you will be logged in to this page 
Now here you'll see several options are given to you. I would recommend you to select this option hosting option. Here you'll see because I've selected this block dude, I see this block dude option over here. Okay, if you click on manage, you will get some more option. So let's see that option. For example, I'll click on manage. Now over here, click on this WordPress overview button. And now you'll see this page. Now this is the page for your website. If you scroll down, first of all, you can see SSL certificate is automatically installed on your domain name. Then after that, you can see Lightspeed caching is also on, Force HTTPS is also on, on your website. If it is not turned on, you can just click on this thing and you can turn on this thing. It will also tell you what PHP version and WordPress version you're using right now. Now what we have to do is we have to click on this button, edit website button. Once you click on this button, you will automatically be logged into your WordPress dashboard. A new tab will open and you will be logged into your WordPress dashboard. And you will see this post page. We have to come back to our main page. We have to come back to our main dashboard page. So you'll see this big W over here at the top left corner. Click on this W icon. This is the WordPress icon. Now click on uh, dashboard option. And this is your WordPress dashboard. Now this page is the most important page of your website because you will be controlling your entire website from this page. So if you want to change your website design, your website's article or anything, you want to manage payments, manage anything on your website, you will do everything from this page. So basically you will be controlling your website from this page, from your dashboard page. And whenever you want to land on this page, there are two ways of doing it. First of all, you can just enter your website name. For example, if your website name is blog dude, you can enter blog dude. And after that, put a forward slash WP hyphen admin. So type in your website name forward slash WP hyphen admin, you land on this page. Another way of coming to your dashboard is just go to your edge panel and click on this edit website button. You will land on your dashboard. Now, whenever we see or whenever we install WordPress on a new domain name, there are a few basic things that we have to understand and there are a few basic settings that we have to do. First of all, on your dashboard page, you will see there are so many different widgets. We don't need these widgets. So we can click on the screen option and we can untick all these widgets from here. Okay, so we can remove all of them and we want a nice clean dashboard. Then at the left hand side, we have a few more options. First dashboard option, we have seen that. Second option is your post option. Now this is the place from where you will be controlling your or you will be creating and managing your blog post. Right now, one blog post is already created for you. Hello world. This is a dummy blog post. Later on in this video, we'll delete it and we'll create our own custom blog post. Then we have the media option. Now, whatever media files you have installed on your website, for example, all these images, media files, all these media files will be available under your media library. And if you want to add more media files or new media files, or if you want to manage them, you can do everything from here. Then we have the pages option. Now under pages option, obviously you will be creating different pages. For example, your blog page, videos page, contact page, all these pages will be created under this pages option. Then we have the comments. Whenever somebody posts any comment on your blog post, you will see all those comments over here and you can approve them, unapprove them. You can reply them or even if, if you want, you can even delete or spam them. You can mark them spam. If it, if it is a spam comment, you can just mark this comment as a spam. Then leave all the other option. Click on appearance. Now under appearance, you'll see a few themes will be installed for you and one of those themes will be activated. So in this case, 2023 theme is activated. Now, if you open your website in a new tab, you will see this is how your website is looking right now. Now this design of your website, this design and appearance of your website is because of this theme, 2023 theme. If you go ahead and activate some other theme, for example, let's activate this 2022 theme. Click on this activate button. Now, if you again come back to your website and if you refresh it, you'll see your website design is now completely changed. So this is basically what a theme does. A theme changes this you know, style and appearance of your website. We just need one theme so we can delete all these extra themes. We can click on the second theme, click on this delete button at the bottom right corner. Okay. We just need one theme installed and activated. In fact, we do, don't, even, don't even want to use this 2022 theme or 2023 theme, whatever theme uh, you're using right now, we will be using a different theme. Then at the left hand side, we'll see the plugins option. Click on that. And here also you'll see a few plugins will be installed for you. Now we have just seen what a theme is. Theme is basically the design and style of your website. Now what is a plugin? A plugin is kind of a software or an add on that will add some external features to your WordPress website. For example, if you want to create this contact form, we just cannot create a contact form with the default theme. We have to install a new plugin. That plugin will add the contact form feature on your website. And then you can create this uh, contact form using that plugin. So plugins basically add features and functionalities to your WordPress website. 
we don't need all these plugins these are all extra plugins so we can go ahead and deactivate all these plugins in fact we can delete them as well so instead of doing it one by one we can tick mark it over here it will select all the plugins then under bulk action select delete just untick this one light speed cache we need the light speed caching plugin rest all we can delete it so we can just select this delete button we can delete all these plugins you can activate this light speed cache plugin uh, once you complete the video once you complete your website basically once you watch the complete video and create your website after that you can activate this plugin then you have the settings option click on that first we have the general settings so under site title you can give your website some name so under this option i'll name my website blog dude you can name it anything it could be your website's name your company's name your brand's name you know you could be anything like that it's a, if it is a personal website it could be your name then we have a tagline now under tagline you have to describe your website in few words okay so maybe wordpress related if it is wordpress related blog then i'll just uh, type in wordpress blog then after that you can tick mark membership anyone can register and under time zone based on your country you can select the time zone so because i'm from india i'll select this kolkata time zone and after that click on save changes now under settings click on permalinks and over here you will see some other option will be selected we have to select this option post name permalink structure this is the most seo friendly permalink structure so we have to select this post name structure now again click on save changes again come back to your dashboard with this we have seen and we have completed all the basic settings related to our wordpress website now let's again come back to this edge panel let me show you a few more things first of all i've told you earlier that if you want you can add multiple websites or you can create multiple websites in one single hosting so let's see in future if you want to add one more website how you'll do that second thing we want to see one more thing if you're using an external domain name for example if your domain name is hosted or registered on godaddy or some other website and if you want to use that domain name with hostinger there is one extra step we have to connect that domain with hostinger so let's see how these two things are done first of all to create a new website we'll click on this add website button now we want to create a new website if you want to migrate your website if you already have a website created with some other hosting and if you want to migrate to hostinger you can select the second option and click on select i want to select this option create a new website i'll click on select button we want to use wordpress so i'll select wordpress and after that you have to uh, give some email address and password for your wordpress website just like we did earlier then after that click on continue they will recommend you a few plugins we don't need it so we can click on skip again they will recommend you a few uh, themes we don't need this uh, as well again click on skip now this time we will be selecting use an existing domain i want to show you how you can use an existing domain external domain and how you can connect that domain with your wordpress account or with your hostinger account so we'll select use an existing domain click on select now i already have a domain name registered this domain name nayashik.com this domain name is registered on godaddy so i want to use this domain name with hostinger so i'll type in this domain name first of all now click on continue in the next step it will tell me where this domain name is hosted so as you can see it is hosted on or it is registered on godaddy and these are my existing name servers i have to change these name servers and i have to replace them with these new name servers required name servers so what i'll do is i'll open a new tab go to godaddy.com log in to my account and over here we'll select this option Uh, I'll select uh, nayashik.com. Click on DNS. Whatever domain name registrar you're using, you'll always see the DNS option, which is domain name server option. So you have to click on that option, then scroll down, and we have to change the name server. See, as you can see, this is your existing name server. We have to click on change. Sometimes they may they might ask you this thing. You have to select this bottom thing. Enter my own name server. Now you will see only two lines like these. You can delete these two name servers. Come back to this page. copy your name server number 1 paste it under name server number 1 copy your name server number 2 and paste it under line 2 now click on save now once you click on save it can take up to 24 to 48 hours to link your domain name with hostinger so once you do this thing after that click on continue now what will happen is uh, again for this domain name as well wordpress will start installing on this domain name and again this is a very small process hardly takes around 2 to 3 minutes so let's wait So here as you can see this is now completed again we we'll, we don't have to do anything we don't have to select anything just click on this hostinger logo at top now if you again go back to websites or hosting you will see now nayashik.com this new domain name is also selected for you you can now go to manage and you can do all the things that i've just shown you okay so this is how it is done now let me again come back to my dashboard now let's install all the required themes and plugins 
So first of all, we'll start with the theme. Click on Appearance. As I said earlier, we don't want to use this 2022 theme. We'll be using another free theme, which is so much better than this one. So to install that theme, we have to click on this Add New button. And under Search Themes, we can search for Ocean WP. You can see this theme over here as well. You don't have to search it. You can see this theme over here, Ocean WP. But for some reason, if you don't see this theme on the home page for this appearance, you can go to Search Themes and search for Ocean WP. And this is the theme that we need. Click on this Install button. And once it is installed, you have to go ahead and click on Activate. So we have to basically activate this theme. So click on Activate. Now, they will recommend you a few plugins. We can cut this thing. First of all, we don't need this 2022 theme now because we have our required theme. So we can delete this 2022 theme as well. Now for this theme for Ocean WP, make sure you enable auto updates because right now if you see they are using what version is currently available 3.4.1. Now, whenever in future this theme is updated and a new version is published, when you have enabled auto updates, it will automatically be updated on your website. So make sure to enable auto updates. Now click on plugins. Let's install all the required plugins as well. Now the very first plugin that we need is a page builder. Page builder is basically kind of a plugin that will help you to design these pages. So whatever page that you see on your screen, all these pages are designed using that page builder. And again, we'll be using a free page builder, which is Elementor page builder. And to install this page builder, again, open a new tab and type in blogdo.com slash Elementor. You'll be redirected to this page. Now they have removed the free version option available from this page, but I'll show you how you can download the free version as well. Uh, by the way, there are many different uh, affordable options available for the pro version. For example, if you want to use Elementor Pro on only one website, you can purchase this thing Elementor Pro for a small price of, I guess, 49 or $59. So it is very affordable as well, but I'll come back on this page. And if you want to use or if you want to install the free version, let me show you how you can do that. First of all, you have to create an account so you can click on login. If you already have an account, you can just log in or if you don't have an account, once you click on login, they will ask you to create an account because I already have an account. I'm automatically logged in. Now, once you log into your account, you will see this link my.elementor.com slash websites. You have to do some changes in this link, delete these websites and make it my.elementor.com slash welcome slash auto hyphen install. Whatever you see on your screen, just type in that thing in the URL bar and press enter. Once you press enter, you will land on this page. Now over here, you have to enter your website link. So this is my website link, blog to 2023. And once you enter your website link, click on check for WordPress. Now you will see this option, click on install Elementor. And now you will see this page, Elementor Website Builder. Now at the bottom right corner, you will see this blue install now button. Click on that button and Elementor will be installed on your website. Once it is installed, you can go ahead and activate this plugin. So click on activate plugin and you will see a welcome page. You can skip this thing. So you have this skip link over here at the uh, bottom right corner. You can click on skip or if you want, you can see this thing at the top right corner. You have this X click on that and this will be cut for you. Now let's do one thing. Go to screen option again. Remove this thing. Come back to plugins. Now rest all the plugins. We can download it from here so we can click on add new and under search plugins, search for Ocean WP. Okay. So once you search for Ocean WP, we have to install this plugin Ocean Extra by Ocean WP. So install this one and we have to install this one as well. Ocean Social Sharing again by Ocean WP. So make sure to install these two plugins. OK, Ocean Extra will add many different extra features to your to your free theme, Ocean WP theme and Ocean Social Sharing is basically if you see any blog post, you know, you will see this at the bottom. You will see this social sharing. OK. People can share on different social media platforms. So that is what that plugin will do for you. Then you can search for contact plugin. If you search for contact, if you just search contact, you will see this contact form seven, install this one. And again, this will help you to create this contact form on your contact page. If you go to your contact page, this form, it will help you to create this form. Then after that, we need the post grid. Just search for the post grid. Search for this thing, the post grid. And you will see this option, the post grid by radius theme, install this one. And this will help you to create this post option. If you go to the home page, this post option is created using this plugin, the post grid plugin by radius theme. And finally, we need uh, the rank math plugin search for rank math. This is an SEO plugin. This will help you to improve your SEO score 
for your blog post so that your blog post can rank higher on Google and Bing search results. So make sure to install this plugin as well. Now once you install all these plugins, you can come back to plugins, click on plugins. And now we can go ahead and activate all the plugins. So again, uh, select this option, it will tick mark everything. Just unselect this thing, Lightspeed Cache. We don't want to in install or we don't want to activate the Lightspeed Cache plugin right now. You should be activating the Lightspeed plugin at the end of the video. Once you watch the video and once you have completed your website, then you can activate the plugin. Now under bulk action, select activate and click on apply. It will activate all these plugins for you. Once these plugins are activated, come back to dashboard. And if you see any notices like this, you can dismiss them and click on screen option and remove these widgets. Again, just to make sure, go to plugins and make sure all your plugins except for light speed is now activated. All right. So this is now activated. Now, the very first thing that I want to do is I want to set up the rank math plugin. Okay. I want to link my website with Google Analytics. I want to link my website with Google Search Console, Google AdSense. Okay. And I want to do basic setup of SEO on my website. So to do that thing at the left side, you'll see this bottom left option. You'll see rank math. Click on that. You will see this setup, create free account. Click on create, connect your account and you can use uh, anything. You can use Google or you can use any option. Or if you want, you can even use your, if you don't want to use Google or anything, you can click on use email and password and you can create an account with rank math. I would recommend you to select Google so you can use any Gmail account to connect with this thing. So maybe I'll use, uh, uh, let's see, I'll use the, this Gmail account. So I'll click on this. And now, as you can see, this will automatically tell you your username. Okay. This will automatically tell you your website link. So this is the link you can now click on activate now. So they will automatically create an account with the rank math and they will automatically link your website with all the Google services. Now make sure advanced is selected. Click on start visit. And first of all, blog dude, what kind of website it is? Personal blog, community blog, or news site, what kind of blog it is. So again, based on your uh, site, what, whatever type of website you're creating, you can select this. Whether it's a personal blog, community blog, or a news site, you can select that thing. Okay, so maybe I'll select personal blog. Uh, website alternate name. Uh, so main name is Blogdude. If you have any alternate name, uh, you can select that thing. Now logo for Google. You can upload your website logo if you have it. So maybe let me upload some logo. Now there is a link given in the video description below. If you click on that link, you will be redirected to my website blogdude.com. In fact, you will be redirected to one of these posts. Now whenever I create any uh, tutorial like you're watching this uh, tutorial, I always create a blog post like this. Okay. So once you click on that link, you will be redirected to a similar blog post. First, you will see the video that you're watching right now, and you will see some important links. And at the bottom, you'll see download free images. Once you click on this blue download button, you'll download a zip file. Okay. You have to right click on that file and click on extract file. Okay. So that file will be unzipped and you will see all these media folders. You will see the media folder inside this. You will see all these images. You'll see the pages folder. You'll see these options. Okay. So basically all the images and everything will be given to you so that you can create your website. So under media folder, I've given you these logos as well. Uh, you can use these options on your website. So I'll come back over here, logo for Google. I'll upload this logo. Okay. Click on tutorial MS, not tutorial MS. Okay. So you can click on media folder and I'll select this logo open use this file. Okay. This is going to be my logo. Whenever somebody searches for my website, they will see this logo. Now default social share, you can add some thumbnail kind of thing. I'll explain you about this default thing later on as well. So maybe what I'll do is I'll select, uh, uh let me select uh, some other image. All right. Maybe let me select this image. Okay. This travel blog image. Maybe it is a travel blog or whatever kind of image you're creating. Now let me explain you what this default share thing is. Now, if you share any article on this website, so this is the thumbnail of the article. First of all, if you see, this is the title and this image is the thumbnail. Okay. This is the image basically of the, or the thumbnail of the article. If you share this thing on any social media platform, for example, if you share this on Facebook, now here's, you can see when, once you share this on Facebook, it will automatically get the thumbnail title and all these things. Now, what this default thing is, if you have any article wherein you have not uploaded this thumbnail, 
then this thumbnail for example this thumbnail if you have not up uploaded this thumbnail for any article and if somebody is sharing that article on facebook or twitter or any other social media platform this image will be used as the default social share image okay so that is basically what it means i hope you understood it if you did, did not understand don't worry you can select some image that is related to your website as your default social share image now click on save and continue now click on this connect to Google services button and this will connect Google services with your account. Now you can select any Gmail account you have. So maybe let me select this account and make sure you tick mark all these options. Okay, whatever options you get, make sure you tick mark all these, you know, options and after that click on continue again. Now this will automatically connect your website with Google search console, Google analytics. And if, if you're using the pro version, you can even connect. It will automatically connect Google AdSense as well. So here, as you can see, this is connected. And after that, uh, uh, after that, you will see this option. First of all, make sure this is selected. Then under analytics for Google search console, it, it will be auto uh, created for you. You don't have to do anything else. Then we will see this option. Uh, you will see your account. Now under property, you have to select create new G uh, G4 uh, property create new GA4 Google Analytics for property click on OK it will create a new property for your website and after that you can select this view option finally the last option and you can select this website option okay so uh, with this Google search console and Google Analytics both are connected with your account okay then you can scroll down and click on save and continue then we have the sitemaps option make sure sitemap is on and rest everything is fine you don't have to do anything just leave it at default and click on continue save and continue again then we have seo tweaks again uh, leave it default click on save and continue and now click on setup advanced option now just click on save and uh, continue we don't have to do anything right now now under schema type make sure first uh, schema type is on and under schema type for post it should be article article type should be post and schema type uh, this one article type should be article okay these three options are important now again click on save and continue and with this your uh, settings are now 100% completed so our basic SEO setting is also done and with that our website is now connected with Google services such as Google Analytics and Google search console if you click on analytics you can see your website is now connected with Google Analytics and once uh, after two three days you will see you know data coming on over here you can see data related to this is uh, related to uh, you this is your dashboard it will have all the options search console plus analytics and so on if you want to see only option related to site analytics you can click on this or if you want to see option related to SEO performance or basically search console you can click on SEO performance option now again let's come back to our dashboard now let's see how we can create our blog post and how you can use chat GPT to you know, help us create a blog post. So first of all, to create a new blog post, we'll click on this post option at the left hand side. We have this dummy blog post. Hello world, we can delete it. Now to create a new blog post, I'll click on add new. Okay. Now let me do one thing. I'll again come back to the home page. Now maybe this website that I'm creating, this is related to a WordPress account. Okay. So maybe this is, I'm writing all articles and everything related to WordPress. Like I create WordPress related videos, maybe I'm creating WordPress related articles over here. So what I'll do is maybe I want to write an article about uh, WooCommerce plugins, like top WooCommerce plugins or something like that. Or before that, before even going to that, if you don't have any idea about what you should be writing on or what your topic should be or what topics or articles you should cover, you can always use Google Trends that would really help you. So if you just search for Google Trends, now, if you search for Google Trends, you will see this option. Click on the first link and again, make sure to uh, just, you know, sign in with any of your Gmail account. And after that, you can search for any topic. For example, if I search for WooCommerce and click on WooCommerce search term. So here, as you can see, this is a very searched uh, article or search term. So people keep on searching for this WooCommerce term. And if you are from India or any particular country, you can change your country as well. For example, instead of India, if you want to see worldwide, data so worldwide search you can see that thing past 12 months all these things and here you'll see which countries are searching this keyword at top and if you want to get more related topics you can search for this okay related topics and related queries also you can search for this all right you can see we have woocommerce api we have woocommerce cart abandoned okay all these related options so this will help you to 
get what your people are searching for if you or if you search for wordpress for example just search for wordpress you can see the uh, interest over time then you can see which countries it is searched most in then after that related topics hostinger and all these options then related queries wordpress 6.0 people are searching about this thing latest wordpress then figma hostinger okay all these are related topics okay so this will help you to write articles you know if your if your web, website is based on wordpress you, you can see what what are the related queries and related topics related to this particular keyword and you can write articles about these things for example you can write article about gutenberg about this a cf wordpress plugin so this will really help you. Now what I want to do is I want to write an article on maybe top 10 or top 5 or maybe the best WooCommerce plugins. So for that I'll open chat GPT. You can open this link chat.openai.com uh, chat and you can create a new account. Now once you create a new account you can search for this. You can tell this uh, thing or you can uh, you can just type in anything. For example let me type in this thing. Alright, so here as you can see, I have typed in write a blog post on best WordPress plugin for WooCommerce. Blog post must have a high SEO score. Okay, so I am telling this thing. Now once you type in anything after that, you can just click on this thing and it will keep, you know, start writing this article for you. So here as you can see, it has started writing the article for you. WordPress and WooCommerce are two of the most uh, popular platform. So let, let it complete and after that, I'll show you what we have to do next. So here as you can see, the, uh, this is now getting all the list. So Yoast SEO number one uh, plugin according to this. All right, so it is almost completed. You can see uh, it has listed seven top plugins. Now if you want, you can even do one thing. For example, if you want to make it top 10, you can ask this thing, uh, add uh, three more plugins. So you can uh, ask this option or you can generate a new response. So here I'm typing in, tell me about three more plugins, okay? So these plugins, maybe uh, I want to create a top 10 list. I have seven plugins over here. So I'm uh, asking for three more plugins so that I can create a list. Obviously you can ask for like 20 different plugins and then after that you can choose 10 plugins from that and you can create a, your article. Obviously you don't have to you know, do the same thing. You just don't have to copy paste everything from here. You can get data, you can get your article from here and then you can pick and choose what you want from this list. And then after that, you can also ask uh, maybe, okay, fine, I have this article, but I don't have a title. So maybe I can ask for some title. All right, so I'm asking for a title. So I'm typing suggest a good title for the article with high SEO score. And here's you can see, it says seven, you can make it 10. Uh, it is say, saying seven because obviously the first article was related to top seven plugins. So seven must have WordPress plugins for WooCommerce to boost your online store. So let's start from here. So instead of first of first of all, I'll, I'll get this topic and I'll paste in this thing and I'll make it 10. Okay, obviously because we have 10 plugins over here, so I'll type in 10. Now once you type in the title here, as you can see, automatically this has increased. Okay, your score has increased. If you see at the top right corner, this is your score. So because we have added the title, our score has increased. Now what I want to do is I want to set a focus keyword. Now, because I'm talking about WooCommerce plugin, maybe WooCommerce plugin will be my focus keyword. So under focus keyword at the right hand side, here you can see, I'll type in this thing, WooCommerce plugin or plugins. Now, once you type in your focus keyword, it will recommend you a few more keywords related to this. So maybe my focus keyword is going to be WooCommerce plugin. Again, once you add this thing, now whatever your focus keyword is, you have to make sure that you have this focus keyword in your title. So our title right now says top 10 must have WordPress plugins for WooCommerce. So you can do some changes and you can make sure that you have WooCommerce plugin uh, written over here. So I'll, I'll, I'll ch do some changes over here. I'll type in top 10 must have WooCommerce plugins for WordPress to boost your online store's performance. Okay, so I did a little bit changes over here. I have the same, uh, basically the title is same, but I just, you know, replace this thing with WooCommerce plugins. And then now I put this thing. So I just refresh this title. And now because we have this uh, focus keyword in our title, under basic SEO, as you can see, we have one thing tick mark over here. You're using focus keyword in the SEO title. Okay, so one thing is tick mark for us. And just by doing this thing, just by doing one simple thing, your SEO score has already reached 43. Here, as you can see, 
43 out of 100 just by having a nice good title and with the focus keyword you can improve your SEO keyword so much. Now what I want to do is I want to copy the uh, text from here. Okay, this is one introduction. First, I'll copy the introduction and now you can click on over here, paste in this text. Now, I'll actually do one thing. To paste in anything, if you just press Ctrl uh, V, it will paste in with all the styling. So you should not never do it like, like, like this. Whenever you want to paste anything, first of all, let me delete it. You should always press Ctrl plus Shift plus V. Okay, like this. Now we have the introduction. Now I'll get this introduction as well. All right, so here as you can see, I have typed in write a good three uh, paragraph introduction for this title with the focus keyword of WooCommerce plugins. Our WooCommerce plugin is the focus keyword for us. Okay, so I'll type in this thing and again, press enter. Now I'm doing this thing because we had only one paragraph in the introduction. So I wanted few more text. Uh, because you should have a nice big uh, article. Uh, you are, this right now is a very small article. We have to make sure that we have a, like at least 1500 words article or something like that. So here we have three paragraphs for our introduction. So instead of using the regular one, I can use this thing as well. Okay. I'll use this as my introduction again, paste in this text. Now we have a nice big introduction over here. Again, just by doing this thing, you can see your SEO score has now reached 59 out of 100 and so many things are automatically on. Focus keyword is used in the meta description, which is good. I'll explain you what this thing means. Focus keyword appears in the first 10% of the content. Now, because we told uh, this thing, we, we told the AI that we wanted to write the introduction with this focus keyword. Here, as you can see, they have used this focus keyword over here, over here. So this AI now automatically knows that we have to use this keyword again and again throughout the article. Again, if you see just in this uh, paragraph, we have again used the focus keyword over here. Okay, so this increases your SEO score. So for example, here it says focus keyword appears in the first 10% of the content. So if you see at the very top, focus keyword appears over here, WordPress plugin, uh, Word, WooCommerce plugin in the top uh, option or in the first second paragraph of your article. Now let's do one thing. Let's come over here and now we can uh, start with this thing. So here first what, what I'll do is I'll add a, I'll add one heading over here. So click on this plus button and search for heading. You should always use heading two for this and I'll type in this thing. So basically what I'll, I'm doing right now is I'm typing the same thing here. I'm just I adding this text at the at the beginning. Here are the top 10 must have WooCommerce plugins. Now the reason I'm doing this thing because I want to use this thing WooCommerce plugin keyword in my heading and this is one of the headings. So again, if you see SEO score is even uh, increased and if you see under additional uh, focus keyword found in the subheading. So H2, H3, all these things are subheadings. So because we have used this focus keyword in the subheading, we have this thing tick mark for us. So we have this thing. Now I'll again press enter, come to next line. And here from here, I'll start using this thing. So first, our uh, first option is used SEO. So I'll copy the text. Again, I'll use heading. Type in heading. Paste in this used SEO thing. Right. And I'll type in one. Okay. This is our first plugin. Then after that, I'll type in maybe again for this thing, I'll do one thing. Uh, I want more text in this thing. So I'll type in write three more. All right. So I've typed in write three more paragraphs on Yoast SEO. Now, if I press enter and this will add few more text. So we want few more text. We just don't want, you know, three, four lines on each plugins. We want some more text. We want to make, make up article a little bit longer. So here, as you can see, Content is only 2280 words long. So we have to write a long article. So that is the reason why I'm asking for three more paragraphs. I'll start with this paragraph. This is going to be my intro paragraph for Yoast SEO. So I'll copy the text and paste it over here. And then I'll use this thing. Okay. Now I should have done one thing. Uh, whenever you're telling this thing, telling this AI to write any more articles, or anything like that. Always say this thing with the focus keyword of WooCommerce plugin. Add this text at the end so that this uh, AI uses or this chat GPT uses uh, WooCommerce plugin focus keyword throughout the article. So let's see the second option. Uh, WooCommerce product filter. 
okay so i'll use again another heading and this is going to be heading to number two woocommerce product filter okay and now what i'll do is i'll uh, do the same thing type in this thing uh, write three more paragraphs on woocommerce product filter with the focus keyword of uh, let's see this thing with the focus keyword of woocommerce plugin so i'll type in this thing press enter all right so here as you can see again i can copy this text and maybe first let's do one thing let's copy this first text okay paste it over here and then we can copy this text all right paste it over here now you can do the same thing with all the other options uh, so i'll do one thing i'll just paste all the other options from here from three option number three scroll down seven paste it over here again as you can see i just pressed ctrl v so that is the reason why i'll remove this thing and you should always press ctrl plus shift plus v all right now let me add few more we'll we'll uh, design this thing and we'll arrange this thing first let me copy this much paste it over here all right now let's again do this thing first uh, here we have jetpack so i'll make it three jetpack and i'll convert this thing you have this convert option as well if you click on this thing you can convert this into heading not the entire thing let me get this much fine i want to convert this into a paragraph but only this title will be heading okay and that to heading two so press uh, uh, press enter so that this thing separates again select this thing before wp forms i'll type in four and convert this thing into heading same thing with monster insight uh, insights uh, just press delete then enter okay so this will separate both these things again before this i'll type in five and convert this into heading same thing with opt-in monster after opt-in monster press delete so that this comes at top then press enter so that we have these two things are separated now you can click on opt-in monster add six before this thing and convert this thing into a heading do the same thing with this okay plugin number seven convert this into heading then we have plugin number eight all right convert this as well into heading and plugin number nine do the same thing convert this into heading and finally the last plugin uh, let's select uh, this thing number 10 and again convert this into heading then after that we'll use this conclusion thing at the end all right and you, if you want to add again you can just uh, go ahead and type in uh, write conclusion write three more paragraphs on conclusion for this article it will write that thing for you basically you get the idea how to use this thing how you can use uh, this thing to generate more text and you can you should always use this text you should always use this command at the end with the focus keyword of woocommerce plugin or whatever focus keyword you have set now let's come back to this article let's see what all things are missing over here so we have few things which are uh, which are selected which are check marked few things are not yet check marked so let's see what is that related to and how we can improve that thing so i'll i'll start from basic seo and first let me minimize everything else let's start from basic seo right so here as you can see the first option is or the first thing that it says is that you're you're, you're using focus keyword in the seo title i've explained to you this thing this is our title we are using this focus keyword of woocommerce plugin in the title second thing focus keyword used inside uh, seo meta description so if you click on this thing edit snippet here if you see this is uh, the description woocommerce plugin add essential features and so on so this is available over here if it is not available you can fix it i'll show you how to fix it, this thing then uh, it says your focus keyword is not in the url and that is because we have not yet published the article once you publish the article you will see the url so if you just go ahead and publish the article let's click on publish and now if i cut this thing here as you can see focus keyword is now available in the url so if you see uh, this is your url now you can again see this thing from here if you click on this gear icon here as you can see is the url if you click on url 10 must have wordpress woocommerce plugins and so on 
So focus keyword is now available in the URL. We, we can again click on this SEO, come back. And then focus keyword appears in the first 10% 10, 10 of the content, which is good. We have seen this thing as well. Then focus keyword found in the content. So whatever, this is all entire content. We have to use this focus keyword multiple times. Now this is orange, which means that we can improve this thing. This is not bad, but we can still improve this thing. So the content length is 1350 characters or 1350 words long. We can improve this thing. We can make it like 2000 uh, words long uh, article. Okay, so we can improve that thing. You can obviously go ahead and ask this chat GPT to, to write two or three more paragraphs on each one of these, uh, you know, options. Then we have this option under additional. So under additional first option is focus keyword found in the subheading. So this is your subheading. We have already seen this thing. Uh, we have used this focus keyword over here, uh, WooCommerce plugin in this subheading H2. Then we have to improve all these things. So first option is add an image with your focus keyword as alt text or alternate text. So we have to use a lot of images in the articles to make, to improve the readability and also to improve the SEO score. So here, as you can see, if I open this thing, top 10 WooCommerce plugins, 90 demo website I've used, uh, have created these options. So if you want to create these kind of images, you can go to this website, canva.com. This is again, another free website. You can use this website to create these kind of options. Now let me do one thing. Let me create a new design. So click on create a new design and I'll select custom size. With I'll select 1280 and height will be 300. Okay. I'll click on create new design. Now this design that I've created, if you want to create a similar design, very easy. First of all, I need the Yoast SEO uh, PNG logo. So I need the logo for Yoast. So I'll search for this Yoast logo PNG or Yoast PNG logo. You can search for that. And if you open any logo, uh, this is not a PNG logo. If you open a logo, you will see the, this kind of thing, which means that this is a transparent PNG logo. PNG basically, uh, we are saying that we want a transparent logo. So this, as you can see, is a transparent logo. Similarly, if you want, if you open this one, or maybe let's open, let's click on images first. Maybe let's use this one. This is a transparent one, the, the, this one. So we can download this image, click on save images, and you can save, save it wherever you want. Now, once you have saved this image, you can again now come back to this option and you can now upload this image over here. So you can go to uploads, which is over here and you can select this image or you can just drag and drop your image like this. Okay. Now, once you have this image, you can click on this image. It will be added over here. You can increase or decrease the size of this image. Now, once you add this image, it will, uh, this thing will automatically get all the color scheme for it from the image. So if I click on this background, click on this background. Now I want to change the background color. So if I click on color, here's, you can see photo color. It has already uh, selected the photo color. You can select any one of these colors from here. Maybe I want to use this color, but I want to use lighter shade of this color. So first click on this color, then click on this option, add new color option. And from here you can select some lighter shade of this same color. For example, or let's select this shade maybe. All right. Then if you want to add text, you can click on this text option and uh, uh, you can select any text style you want. So for example, this is one style. If you click on this, this is how it will look like. You can change this color again. If you click on this thing, you can change the color to maybe black color, whatever color you want. So I'll type in maybe I'll type in this thing, number one. And here I'll type in Yoast SEO. All right. Then you can decrease the size. Okay. Maybe I'll select, uh, you can decrease the size from top. Okay. Like this. And then after that, I'll do one thing. I'll select this thing, change the sizing and all. Okay. Then you can bring it over here. Now, if you want to have a, uh, if you want to design it even more, you can use some, uh, elements, some objects. So click on elements. Maybe let, let me select this circle element, bring it over here increase the size like this. And now as you can see, this is how it will look like. Okay. So you can create these kind of images using this option. You can increase or decrease this size. All right. Circle also you can increase or decrease this size. So this could be one format. I'm just explaining you this thing. If you want, you can have many different formats. If you want a completely different style, you can have that thing as well. But this is how you, you can create. If you want, you have templates as well. 
you can go to templates and you can see so many templates if you go to design here as you can see these are templates for example let me click on add page now once you click on add page you can use these options to create more options for example if i click on this select this option apply and this is now a simple option if i click on this i'll select replace current page okay and i'll increase the size of these options bring it over here so this as you can see is another option you can use this template you can use this format to create few more options similarly if i click on add page uh, let's see at the left hand side here as you can see we have so many other options so many other templates you can use any one of these templates to create a design for yourself all right so maybe i will delete these two i just wanted to show you that they, this is how it is done now once you have this image you can click on this share at the top left or at the top right corner now click on download and you can download this image this image will be downloaded for you okay as you can see it is getting downloaded once it is downloaded for you you can use this image or uh, you can come over here and you can upload this image maybe below this title i want to upload this image so i'll click on this plus button search for image select this image option first i want to do one thing i want to change the title of this image i want to change the name of this image basically if i select this image bring it over here and here as you can see number one this is the text i want to change this text what i'll do is i'll type in uh, this thing over here yoast seo plugin uh, best woocommerce plugin okay this is going to be my title now the reason i'm doing this thing is because uh, here this title says this title has this text yoast seo, uh, yoast SEO which is the name of the plugin and it also has the keyword woocommerce plugin okay so i'll change the text and here it is now i'll upload this image over here click on upload and select this image click on open once you have this image first of all you can click on this image once you click on this image you can click on this gear icon again at the top right corner click on settings and you can change the image size to full size okay once you have this thing under alt text here as you can see under alternate text paste in this thing yoast seo plugin best woocommerce plugin basically the name of the uh, plugin and after that your keyword which is woocommerce plugin okay this is very important because that if you remember that thing uh, uh that software or rank math was telling us to include alternate text so we have done that we have included this alternate text over here now again if you go back to rank math if you see additional option here as you can see focus keyword found in the image alt attributes which is good now the focus keyword density is only 0.3 which is low and focus keyword combination appears only four times so you can improve this thing for example this thing Woo, Woo, uh, woocommerce plugin it says you know this plugin comes or appears in this title only four times you can increase this thing so to increase this thing a very simple option is for example you can rewrite these things you can reword these things basically so here it says jetpack is a compressive plugin that offers so instead of this i can type uh, this thing jetpack is one of the best woocommerce plugins because woocommerce plugin is our focus keyword so i can type in woocommerce plugins then after that i can remove this text and i can make it jetpack is one of the best woocommerce plugins that offers a suite of features including you know so so on and so forth so here as you can see this is how you can replace this thing this is how you can rearrange the text and you can change the wording here and there and you, you make sure to always increase include this thing always improve the keyword density use your focus keyword as many times as possible in this article for example uh, uh for example let's select this option woocommerce product filter so here i'll just add this text hence this woocommerce plugin is a must for any e-commerce website so here as you can see now i have incre increased this thing to six times similarly you can use this time you can add these kind of statements here and there to improve this focus keyword again uh, let me do one thing let me uh, get uh, let me actually do one thing let's add a few more options or uh, opt-in monster for example or maybe monster in inside so i'll do the same thing i'll ask this thing right to monster inside plugin 
विद द फोकस की वर्ड ऑफ वो कॉमर्स प्लग और इंस्टेड ऑफ दिस टेक्स्ट विद द फोकस की वर्ड ऑफ वो कॉमर्स प्लग यू कैन डू वन थिंग I'll rem- I'll I'll put a comma over here and type in this thing, and use this statement, and then we'll add this statement or this word in the uh, at least I'll type in at least three times in the text or in the article. Okay, so basically now you're telling that we want to uh, write uh, three paragraphs about this plugin, but you make sure to use this word. Uh, WooCommerce plugin at least three times. Okay, I did not add this uh, colon over here. Okay, maybe I'll do this thing. I'll have to remove this thing. Statement. All right. So I forgot this quotation mark, and I'll type in this thing again. Now, for example, here it says with this plugin. So instead of with this plugin, you can type in with this WooCommerce plugin. Okay. So you can do these kind of changes, and this will help you. to improve your keyword density so don't think that ai will do all the thing obviously it can help you to generate the text generate uh, it will give you the content but you have to use your brain as well you have to do some some things and some you have to put some efforts from your sides as well so that you can improve your seo score for example uh, let's have first copy these three four paragraphs from here come over here and paste it under monster insight Now here, as you can see, just by pasting in this thing, your keyword density is increased because here in this article you can see it is WooCommerce plugin is used over here, and then again it is used over here. All right, so here as you can see, this is how it improves this thing. Similarly, you can do the same thing. Ask the same thing. You can copy this thing, and now instead of uh, Monster Insight plugins, we want to type in about Optin Monster plugin. Okay, on. Now I'm saying write three more paragraphs on Optin Monster plugin and use this statement WooCommerce plugin at least three times in the text. Again, I can press this thing. So this is how you can improve your keyword density. Okay. Again, as you can see, Woo, Woo, uh, Optin Monster is a versatile WooCommerce plugin. So they, uh, this AI has used this uh, focus keyword WooCommerce plugin over here, and they will use it at least three times, as you have said over here, as you have commanded over here. All right. So again, uh, once it is completed, I'll just copy and paste in this text, and then we'll see the improvement. Let's scroll down till here, come back, and select this thing, replace it with this text, and now as you can see, again your keyword density is now increased to ten. If you go back to basic uh, SEO here, as you can see, now instead of orange uh, or instead of yellow, now your content is you know seventeen hundred words long. so this is also good similarly you can go ahead and type in the same thing for wp super cash wp optimize and always type in something like this write two or three more paragraphs on this plugin using this statement or using these words at least three times in the text and uh, with that your your keyword density will increase now the next option is url is for 114 characters long consider shortening it so if you see your url again if you click on this uh, icon if you click on this your icon click on post this is your url so instead of this thing we can decrease this thing so i'll type in uh, woocommerce plugins we have to have woocommerce plugin option and i'll remove all the other things i'll just type in 10 must have woocommerce plugin okay i've changed this thing again update this thing again come back click on this seo score go to additional and now as you can see url is only 59 characters long which is good now let's see about links we have to use some external and internal links so because external link is pretty easy over here because we are using so we are typing about or we are writing about so many other plugins we can give external links to these plugins for example uh if you if somebody wants to go to yoast seo we can do one thing we can add a button over here press enter click on plus button add a button and under this button i'll type in download yoast plugin or yoast seo okay i'll type in this text now hover over this text and click on this link option okay now you can go to yoast website i'll just enter the link over here yoast.com now after that click on this thing submit and this is now your external link which means that when somebody clicks on this button they will be redirected to some external website so here as you can see as soon as you enter this thing uh you have you are linking to an external resources 
So we have this thing tick mark for us. Similarly, for all the other plugins as well, you can click on this thing, you can add this button and you can redirect them to that external plugin. You can also use affiliate marketing over here. If you're writing about anything, for example, if you're writing about any product or any software or anything like that, and if that product or that software has affiliate marketing, which means that basically you can promote that thing and once somebody purchases that product using your link. For example, this was an affiliate link, for example. When somebody clicks on this link and they go to Yoast and they purchase maybe the premium plan or something like that, you will get a commission. So you can use affiliate marketing, you can do affiliate marketing with these articles as well. Whenever you're redirecting your users to some third party website, you should always use affiliate marketing for that. Or you should always leave, or you should always use affiliate, affiliate links to promote these plugins or these softwares or any external thing that you're promoting. Then we have external link, which is good. Uh, and it has the do follow thing. We couldn't find any internal links. Now we have to add an internal link. So maybe, uh, maybe we have uh, uh, this thing. Maybe I, I have written a new article on Yoast SEO, a complete article only on this particular plugin, Yoast SEO plugin. And I want to link this thing with that article. So what I can do is maybe whenever somebody clicks on this thing, or maybe I'll select this first statement. Okay, I'll select this first statement and then I'll click on this link again and uh, I'll go to my website. Maybe I'll just, uh, just for demo purposes, I'll paste, paste in my homepage link and press submit. This is an internal link. Now, when somebody clicks on this link, they will be redirected to that article. Obviously, I just entered my homepage link, but you can enter that article link. So this is your internal link. When you click on this link or when your visitors click on this link, they will be redirected to some other page, but on the same page, but on the same website. Okay, so this is your internal link. So we have seen external and both internal links. Then we have used, we have not used this focus keyword before. This is the first time we are using the focus keyword, which is good. And then we can go to title read readability. Focus keyword is used at the beginning of in the SEO title, which is good. We have used this focus keyword at the very beginning. And then we have a positive or a negative uh, sentiment, which is good. Your title does not contain a power word at add at least one. So you can do one thing. You can click on power word list. You will get a list of uh, uh, power words that you can use in the title. Not really necessary, but you know, it is not necessary that you should have everything tick mark over here. Most important thing is your article. You should have a good quality article, okay, with images and all. So that is the most important thing. So if you see the power Q, uh, power words things, what is a power word? You can read about that. What kind of words you should be using with all the examples and all. So you can see and you can go through this article to learn more about this thing. Then we have this option. Uh, it, it, again, one more thing, you're using a number in your SEO title. So we are using a number. Not again necessary, but no, no, this improves this thing. Then under content readability, it says we are not using table of content. So let's see, let's see how we can use table of content. Now you should be using table of content just below your introduction. So our introduction ends over here. So I'll press enter, click on this plus button and search for table of content. Here, as you can see, table of content by rank math, click on that and it will automatically create this table for you. So basically how it creates a table, whatever H2 elements you're using, for example, here we have H2, then this is the H2, it will create a link for all the H2 elements. Okay, here as you can see. And once you use this thing, this is also green now. Now your content contains images or videos. So we have orange because we have used only one image. Similarly, for all the other plugins, you can go, uh, you can add more images, then this will be green. So you can go to image media library. You can use this image, for example. Okay. I'll go here, full size image. Similarly for third plugin as well, press enter, click on the plus button, search image, media library. You can upload some image over here again, full size image. All right. Come back over here again. And now as you can see, everything is green. Now click on update. So basically we have covered everything related to SEO and so, so I hope uh, this was helpful. Again, I'm saying you can always use this chat GPT, whatever question you have or whatever text you want, you can uh, recommend this. For example, for this title, maybe this focus keyword is not working for you. WooCommerce plugin. Then you can again go ahead and just ask chat GPT to recommend you few focus keywords or maybe this title is not working for you. It, you did not like the title or this title is not that SEO friendly or not that catchy. Then you can again ask this thing chat GPT to suggest three or four more titles 
alternate titles for this article. So this, this will suggest you that thing. Okay. Now let's again come back to this article and make sure to update this article. Once you have uh, you know, completed this thing, make sure to update the article. Now let's come, uh, click on this thing, click on this gear icon and click on post. Okay. Once you click on gear icon, click on post. Now we have to select a category for this. By default, it is under uncategorized. We want to add a category. So here we are talking about WooCommerce. So maybe, or maybe I'll, I'll create a new category and I'll name it WooCommerce plugins. Okay. Click on add new category. Now, whenever I'm talking about, or I'm writing an article on WooCommerce plugins, I'll always select this WooCommerce plugin so that people, when they, when they want to read more about uh, when they want to read more articles on WooCommerce plugins, they can click on this category and they can see all the articles under this category. Then we have tags under tags. Again, you can use uh, Yoast as one tag, press enter. You can use WooCommerce as another tag. Okay. You can uh, use these tags and under featured image, you can have some image like this. Now, if you want, you can use again, some website wherein you can download these kind of images for free. So there is this website unsplash.com. You can go to unsplash. And for example, if you want an image like this, uh, um, you can type in this thing mail with laptop or maybe office laptop. You can type in something like that. And here is, you can see, you can get these kind of images for free. Whatever image you want, you can download it. For example, if you like this image, you can select this and you can download the medium version. Okay. Click on this arrow button and select medium option. Okay. We don't want the large option or the original size. The original images are very large. We want the medium option. So you can download these images and you can set this image as your featured image. I have this image. So I'll just set this as my featured image. Okay. Then after that, finally you can click on update. Now let's see a few more things. Few more things are left. Again, if you click on this thing, click on this SEO score. Now, if your meta, if your, if your focus keyword is not under SEO meta description, you can always edit this snippet and you can type in some description. For example, you can just type in one or two lines and just make sure that uh, this focus keyword of WooCommerce plugin is available in this description. Okay. That is the only thing. Then you can go to social and you can see when somebody, you know, shares your article on Facebook, this is how it will look like on Twitter. This is how it will look like. Now, if you want a different image or a different title for this thing, for example, I want whenever somebody shares this article on Facebook, I don't want this title to be shown. I want some other title. So you can type in that title. Okay. So this is how it works. Social thing. And finally, once you have done this thing, make sure to update this article. And this is how you do it. This is how you write an article. You start with an introduction, table of content, then you add heading and then the text, some images. And at the end, you always add some conclusion. You end it with some conclusion. Okay. This is how you are add an article. And we have seen how to use artificial intelligence or chat GPT to generate content. And then how we can do some more thing from us, add few lines here and there to improve your focus keyword density and something like that to improve your SEO score ultimately. Okay. Again, come back. So we have created our blog post like this. Okay, so similarly, you can go ahead and create as many blog posts as you want. Now you know the process, how everything is done and now how you, you know all the SEO roles and so on. Now, if you see your website, if you open your website in a new tab, this is how it will look like. It will just have the blog page, you know, it will just uh, showcase the blog post over here, but it looks a little bit different. In fact, it looks, looks very different. If you see the home page on this website, this looks so much better. So now it's time to start designing this website. And for designing this website, first we'll start with this page, the home page. So let's do that. So again, if you come back to your dashboard, first we need to click on pages. Now delete this sample page. Make sure you don't have any dummy content on your website. So we have deleted that uh, hello world, which was a dummy blog post. Then we want to delete the pages under pages. We want to delete the sample page and under privacy policy, you can edit this page. You can enter and you can add all your privacy policies and then you can publish this page. Okay. Then you can again come back. Now, many people ask whether this website, why, when, and how your website gets approved by Google AdSense. Now, many people do one mistake. They write one or two articles and they when, when, when their website is not even complete, like they have not yet completed designing the home page or any other pages, menu is not present. Footer is not properly set up. So many people, when they, we have, when they have not even completed the website, they apply 
for AdSense. Obviously, they get uh, they get disapproved or they get rejected. Now, if you want to get approval from AdSense, make sure first you have at least 20, 30 blog posts on your website. Okay, and make sure your website is complete. Like you have a proper header, you have a proper footer, you have created all the you know required pages like your homepage, contact page, privacy policy, terms and conditions page, and at least 20, 30 blog posts are available and you have some uh, some uh, visitors on your website. And after that, also make sure you have, you know, you keep on sharing your blog post on different social media platforms. Once you reach that step, once you reach that process or once you reach that position, then you can apply for Google AdSense and then you can easily get Google AdSense approval. You won't have any problem with that. It is not a problem with uh, automatic uh, or it is not a problem with AI generated content or real content. This is also real content. Basically, you can just uh, you can change the phrasing and all. You can add some more content from your side. You can change some text here and there. So that is not the problem. People, they don't create the website. They don't complete the website and still apply for Google AdSense. That is the reason why they get rejected. So make sure you don't do that uh, mistake. Now, first of all, let's click on pages, create uh, click on add new to create our home page. Let's give it a title of home. If you just give it a title of home and if you publish this page, now if you open this page in a new tab, this is how it will look like. Now we have to do some changes over here. First of all, we don't want this title bar. Here as you can see in the home page, we don't have any title bar over here. Then after that, we don't have this, we don't want this extra space at bottom. Here as you can see, we have this extra space at bottom. I don't want this thing as well. And I want a full width page. So first we have to again come back. We have to do some changes under content layout, make it 100% full width. We don't want any spacing at the bottom. So for padding, make it disable. Okay. Under padding, make it disable. Now select title and under display ta uh, page title, make it disable so that this ho whole section, this entire section will disappear. Once you do this thing, after that, you can again go ahead and update this page. Again, if you come back to this page and refresh it, now, as you can see, we have a blank page, we have the header, then we have the footer, nothing in between. Now here, if you see, we still have one problem. Your website name, if you see the URL bar here, it says your website name slash home. And if you click on blog or if you click on your website name, you're redirected to some other page. So basically what is happening right now is you, uh, the page that you have just created, this is just a regular page. You have named it home, but just by naming it home, this does not become your home page. You have to set this page as your home page. So to do that thing, you again have to come back to your main dashboard. Now hover over settings and click on reading. Now you'll see this option, your home page displays. And right now it is displaying your latest post. We want to display a static page. So select the second option on static page and under home page, select this home. Now click on save changes. Again, if you come back to this page, now if you see, if I refresh this page, we'll still be on the same page, but this slash home will go. If I refresh this page, we are still on the same page, but that slash home is gone. And if I click on blog dude, I'm still on the same page. So this page is now my official home page. Again, come back to this option, click on pages. Now, if you see besides home, it says front page. Now, if you click on edit, now we can go ahead and start designing this page. So to, so to design this page, we'll be using the Elementor page builder. So you can click on this button, edit with Elementor. All right. Now this is the Elementor setup. First of all, let me explain you what this Elementor thing is and how it works. So Elementor is a page builder, which obviously will help you to build and design your page. So if you see at the left hand side, we have many different elements. These are the elements that we have to use to design these kind of pages. And at the right hand side, we have the canvas. Now, whatever page you see on my website or whatever page you see on any website in this world, you'll always see that these pages are divided into different sections. So this is your first hero section. Then we have the featured article section. And finally, we have the best WordPress plugin or basically your affiliate section, your affiliate product section. So we have three different sections. So to create a new page, first you start with a section. So to create a new section, you click on this plus button, this red plus button, and you select how many columns you want in this row or in this section. So maybe I want three columns. So I'll select three. Now, once you select this thing at the left hand side, now the elements are gone and now we have edit section. If you again want to go back to those elements, you click on this nine dots icon. If you follow my mouse cursor, click on this nine dots icon. Now, maybe in the first column, we want to use a button. So we'll drag and drop the button over here. And this is how it will look like. 
Now, once you drag and drop any element or once you click on any element, you will see at the left hand side settings will again change. And now you'll see settings related to that element because we're using the button element because we click on the button element, we see settings related to button. So here it says edit button. And under every single element, you will see all these three options, content, style and advanced. Under content, obviously you can change the content like instead of click here, you can type in read more. Okay. So you can change the content related thing. Under style, you can change the styling, like you can change the typography, you can increase or decrease the line height, font size, all these things. You can, you can change the color, for example, red, blue, green, whatever color you want, you can change the color. You can change the border radius, you can make it uh, like this, you can change the padding and also you'll, you can change the designing part. Then we have the advanced option. Under advanced option, we have width, we have position, we have Z index, all the advanced things, okay? Again, if you want to go back to elements, click on the nine dots icon. Maybe for the second uh, column, we want to use an icon. So we can drag and drop this icon over here. Again, uh, edit at the left hand side, you'll see now edit icon because we have clicked on icon. And here also we have content, style and advanced. Under content, you can change the con you can change the content, you can change the icon instead of this icon if you want some other icon. Maybe we will select this thermometer icon, we can select this thing. Then we have the uh, style option. You can change the size. You can even re uh, rotate this icon like this, and you can even change the color of this icon. All right. And again, under advanced, you have some advanced things. So this is how this thing works. Now I'll delete this entire section and I'll start creating this website. Now in this website, we have two different columns in the first section. So to create our first section, we'll, cl we'll click on this plus button and we'll select two columns. Okay. Now the left hand side will start from the left hand side. First, we have this nice big title. So I'll copy the title and click on this uh, nine dots icon to go back to elements and search for heading element. Here you have this heading, drag and drop the heading element at the left hand side. Now type in whatever heading you want. I'll type in create content with WordPress. Now let's st uh, style this thing. So we'll go to style. Text color is the first thing. Now view, view, you can see we have this black color. Now you can do one thing. You can right click on this uh, text and you can click on inspect to see the color code, the exact color code. So once you do this thing here, as you can see at the bottom left corner, we have this thing. We have the color, this black color. If you click on that black color, you will get the color code, which is 2B, 2B, 2B. Okay. So you can copy the color code, come back to your website and you can paste in this color code. So under text color, click on this and paste in this uh, color code. Okay, you will see the black color. You can do one thing, you can save this color code so that again and again, you don't have to go and inspect the element, you have the color code. So you can click on this plus button and you can name it black, for example, and click on create. Now we can change the typography. Basically, you can change the text and font. So we can click on typography. We can increase or decrease the size of this text. We can also change the font family. By default, it is Roboto. You can change the font family to anything you want. For example, if you want something fancy, you can select this font family or if you want, you can again select this thing, you know, hundreds and thousands of different font families are available. Whatever you like, you can just select that. For example, let's select this one. Okay. As you can see, this is how it looks like. I want to select a simple and professional font family. So for this one, I'll be using Poppins font family. This is the one. Okay. And I'll increase the size to maybe 63 or 64 pixels make it bolder at 700. If you make it uh, lighter at 100, as you can see, this is how it looks like. So I'll make it 600, not 600. We'll select 700 bolder. You can also change the line height. I would recommend you to use EM for line height. Okay. So you can change the line height like this. I'll set this thing to 1.1 EM for line height. Okay. Then uh, again, let's come back to this option element option. Then we have our simple text. I'll copy the text and use this text editor. Okay. Bring this text editor over here and paste in whatever text you have. Now again, go to style and change this thing for this. Also, I want the same color to be color. So this time I don't have to paste in the color or type in the color. I can simply click on this globe icon. And here, as you can see, we have this black color that I've saved to be to be to be. So I can click on this thing. Now for typography again, for this also, I want poppins. So I'll change the font family to poppins. And for size, I'll make it 17 pixels and 400 is fine. So I don't want to change this thing. Okay. So this is your text. Now I've just noticed that we have to change the color of this thing. Okay. This, uh, 
this full stop or this period. So I'll click on this thing first, go to content. Now here, as you can see, we have this full stop. Now, just before that, you can add some text, like you can add some HTML element. I'll add uh, this A element, anchor element, and I'll type in style. And after that, this thing, okay, whatever you see. So uh, uh, first we'll add this anchor element. Then after that style is equal to under quotation marks, color is equal to purple or color colon purple, then semicolon to end this thing. Font size is this. And after this thing, okay, this is all before this full stop. After this full stop, we close this anchor thing. So we do it like this. All right. And we here also we close this thing. All right. Now, as you can see, we have this thing. If you want to increase the font size for this, you can make it 90. So you can increase the size of this thing. Okay. Only this thing, only this full stop. So whatever you see on your screen, you can just type in like this so that you get, get a style like this one. Okay. Then after that, we have this thing. So we'll search this thing. You, you cannot search it. You have to scroll down and go to widgets option, WordPress option, click on WordPress. And here you'll see MailChimp option. Uh, let me show you that thing here. Drag and drop this MailChimp option. And let me do some changes over here. First of all, uh, the text, uh, we don't want any text or anything. First, a button. Let's see the button. Button says go. Instead of go, I'll type in join waitlist. So I'll type in join waitlist. And now as you can see the button, you can say see everything. I don't want the title of newsletter. So I'll get, the, uh, get rid of the title. Similarly, don't want the text. So delete the text. Don't want to accept GDPR thing. I just want this thing. Okay. And here it says enter your email under this box. So I'll type in under placeholder, enter your email. All right. So this is how it will look like. So when somebody adds their email, they will be automatically added to your, to your wait list. Now we don't want this much space between them. So we can do one thing. You can go to advanced. And under, under margin top, first make sure to delink it. You, you click on this option so that it is delinked. Now at top margin, I'll add minus 30 pixels. Okay. Now, as you can see, this is how it will look like. All right. Come back. Click on update just to make sure that all our uh, changes are now saved. Now this thing will not work. Now, if you, if you see when somebody enters their email address, click on join list, it will not work. To make this thing work, you have to link your website with some email marketing website. So I'll do one thing. I'll go back to my dashboard and here you can go to ocean WP settings, click on skip, or you can click on allow and continue. And here you can search for this option integration, click on integration. And here, as you can see, we have the MailChimp integration. You have to integrate your website with MailChimp. So go to MailChimp.com. And make sure you have an account with MailChimp. Now, if you don't know what, what MailChimp is and how to use it, MailChimp is basically a website where, which you can use to do free email marketing. So I already have an account with this. So I'll just log in. If you don't have an account, you can create a new account and then log in. And, or, or if you want to learn more about MailChimp, how you can use MailChimp to do email marketing and automation, you can go to my YouTube channel. And in fact, you can go to YouTube and search for Nayesh Sheikh MailChimp. You'll get this tutorial, one hour long tutorial, more than one hour long tutorial, actually. MailChimp free email marketing with templates, automation and e-commerce uh, WordPress features. Okay, make sure to watch this video. Now, once you log into your MailChimp account, here you will see your user at the bottom left. Click on that. Now click on profile and under extras, click on API keys. Here you will see your API key. Now, if you're doing this for the first time, you will see this button, create new key. Once you click on this button, you can name it anything you want. I'll just name it dummy. Click on generate key. So you, you will get your key. You can copy this key. Click on done first and come over here on your website. Paste in this key. All right. Again, let's come back over here. Now, as you can see, this is the dummy key that you're using. So for different websites, you can create different keys. Then we also need uh, this thing. We need the audience ID. So you can click on this audience option. Okay. Here, as you can see, we have current audience is this. Maybe I want to use this list, list three. So I'll click on list three first. Now, once you select whatever list you want or whatever audience option you want, then you can click on manage audience. And under that, you can click on settings. 
Now scroll down at the bottom. Here you will see unique ID for your audience. You can copy this ID, come back to your website, paste in this ID and click on save changes. Now your website is 100% linked with MailChimp. And now if somebody enters their email address, they will be added to this list. Okay, list three that we have selected, list three of your website. Then after that, we have this option. We have this testimonial thing. So let's see how we can design this thing. So here at the left hand side, we have the image and at the right hand side, we have this text. So for this, what I'll do is I'll, re I'll divide this thing into two columns. So for this, we'll use this inner section. You have this inner sec section, drag and drop it over here. By default, you will get 50% each, two columns each 50 per uh, percentage each. Now for the left column, I want to make it smaller. Okay, so maybe for the left column, we'll make it 15%, 1.5. So I'll click on this option, edit column for the left, make it 15. So the right column automatically becomes 85 percentage. Now the left column, I'll add the image. So I'll search for image element, drag and drop the image element over here. Now upload the image. This image is also given to you. This is again another dummy image. If you want, you can use this image, open it, click on insert media and under image size, make it full width. Now go to, uh, go to style and let's style this image. Now for width, uh, you can select some per pixels, you can select percentage. I'm selecting 60 pixels. Okay, just a little bit smaller. Okay, so width will be 60 pixels. And after that, we want to make it circular like this one. So you can select border radius. Here it is. Under border, ra border radius, I'll select percentage and I'll make it 50 from all sides. And now as you can see, this is a circular image. So under border radius, you can type in 50 percentage from all sides. This image will become circular. Then we have the text. I'll copy the text like this and use the text element, come back, uh, drag and drop the text element, paste in the text. Uh, just make sure that this name is uh, bolder so you can select this thing and select bold. So this text will become bold. Now let's style this text. So go to style and change the color to whatever color you want. So let's see what this color is. Right click inspect. Okay, so this is the color F54. Uh, 595F. Okay, I'll paste in this color over here. And again, save this color. I'll just name this thing with the same name. This is going to be the color. Then typography, Roboto. Instead of Roboto, we want to change this thing to Poppins. Font size will be 14 pixels. And line height, I want to decrease this thing. So I'll select EM. Make it 0 0.3. Okay, we want to select this thing. Then we want everything in middle. If you see, this is going up, this is in the middle. So to make that thing, we'll select edit section, edit inner section and vertical align will make it middle. Okay. Now we'll, you, you can select few more things. For example, you can select this option. Uh, let me see. Yeah. You can select this option, this text option, go to advanced and under margin top, you can type in 20 pixels. And if you want to decrease this gap, this gap, as you can see between this thing and this thing, then you can select inner section. Okay. Edit inner section, go to advanced and here margin top, you can type in minus 20. Now, as you can see, this gap is also decreased. Click on update to make sure that all the changes that you have made is now saved. And now at the right hand side, we need this image. So again, for that, you can go to unsplash or pixels. These are some free websites. So we have seen Unsplash, there is another website, pexels.com. You can go here, you can uh, search for some image if you want. Okay, so here in this case, again, a mail with a laptop, you can search for that or you can search for a blogger, freelancer or laptop in coffee shop, something like that. You will get an image like this. Okay, once you have this image, you can uh, use this image element. You can drag and drop the image element at the right hand side. Then you can upload the image. Alright, so whatever image you want to upload, you can upload that image. For example, uh, let me upload some other image just to show you if I go to media. Alright, so maybe let me just upload this image, click on open and after that click on insert media. Now you have this image. First of all, change the image size to full and after that you can go to style and make it 90% width. Okay, just decrease the width a little bit. And after that, to make it uh, something like this, for example, if you want to change the shape of this thing, you can use the border radius thing. So you can first dealing the border radius. So for example, from top, you can set this to 50 
uh, first first of all you can set percentage if you want to control this thing uh, for example if i set 50 from here then from right maybe we'll select 20 then from bottom we'll select maybe 35 then from left we'll select maybe again 45 something like that so here as you can see you can have a shape like this if you want to change it even more you can make it 35 from here all right 60 from here again so whatever number you you change you can change the shape of this image all right just like this so whatever shape you want you can have that image from here i'll delete this thing because i want to have some other image i just don't wanted to show you that uh, you can change the shape of this image like this i'll set it full width and 90 percent width all right now once you do this thing uh select this option edit section option and bring everything in the middle so vertical align make it middle and in the background if you see we have a different color so let's get this color code let's see what this color code is if it is f8 f7 f3 so i'll go to style background type classic and i'll paste in this color code f8 f7 f3 all right now we have this color in the background once you have this thing after that again make sure to update and finally, we'll go to advanced and add some padding at top and bottom. So again, first day link at top, we want to add 30 pixels and at bottom 50 pixels. All right. And with this, we have completed our first section. Now for the second section, first we have this divider. So we'll again come back over here, add a new section, single row, single column. And first we'll search for divider, drag and drop the divider over here. And you can set the width of the divider. I'll select pixels for this width. And I, over here, I'll tap in 60 pixels. You can see the divider on your screen. And after that, you can also go to style, change the color. So let me get this color code. Inspect element, right click on that and click on inspect element. This is the color code. So we'll paste in this color over here. And we'll save this as our purple color. So basically this is a darker shade of purple color. So this is the one I'm selecting. Then for weight, uh, you can increase this thing to maybe five pixels and this is how it will look like. And gap, you want to decrease this gap. So you can make it zero or you can make it one or two, something like this. Okay, so you can decrease the spacing from top and bottom. Then after that, we have our main title, featured articles. For this, we'll be using heading. Now before we use heading, again and again, we have to change the font family to Poppins. So let's do one thing. Let's make the default font family as Poppins so that you don't have to change the font family and that will save us some time. So to do that thing, you have to click on this hamburger icon, this three lines icon at the top left corner. Click on this. Now select site settings and select global fonts. Now under primary, you can select this thing. As you can see, by default, it is Roboto. We can change this thing and we can make it Poppins. So select Poppins. Similarly, for secondary font family, it is Roboto Slab. We have to change this thing to Poppins. Then for text also, we have to change uh, this thing and replace it with Poppins. And finally, for accent, that is for links also, we want the same font family, Poppins font family. Now click on Update. Again, if you come back, and now let's do one thing. Let's drag and drop the heading. All right. Now, if I add this title featured articles now if i go to uh, style if i open typography as you can see it is default to poppins we don't have to change this thing to poppins all right now for this color we'll select this 222 color this black color 2b 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 color that we had earlier saved and for the size of this thing we'll increase this thing to 35 pixels and 600 is fine so i'll keep it at 600 and finally we have this text so i'll copy the text and we'll use the text editor for this paste in this text go to style you can change the color to black color if you want and for this you can make it 16 pixels 400 is fine now i want to bring this thing in two lines so for that what i'll do is there is one simple method you can go to advanced and you can add some margin at the right hand side so i'll select a uh, percentage over here and at the right side i'll type in 50 percentage margin Alright, so this will leave this 50% space and this is how it will look like. Then at the bottom we have this option, we have to display our post grid. So we can again come back and at the very top you will see TPG grid layout. Drag and drop this thing at the very bottom, TPG grid layout and this is how it will look like. 
Now, whatever layout you want, layout one, two, three, whatever layout you want, you can select it from here. So we have the layout one, we have layout two, we have layout three. Some uh, changes are there, but I'm using layout one because that is the one that I'm using in the demo website. Now, how many columns you want, you can select that thing as well. Now, under query builder, uh, post uh, source should be uh, post and under limit, how many you want to display. So here in this case, as you can see, I'm displaying, I'm displaying six post. So here I'll change this number to six. Then after that, if you see, we have pagination, we have to leave the pagination, go to settings. Now under settings, what are all things you want? I don't want this section title at top. So I'll hide that section title. I don't want all these things. Okay, so here, as you can see, we have only a few things. We have the thumbnail, we have the title, then we have this uh, a summary and read more, only four things. Rest all, we have to hide it. So we want title, we want thumbnail, we want the post excerpt, but we don't want any meta. Okay, we don't want any metadata. So I'll hide that thing. So it will hide everything. Read more button, we do want read more. Now you can change the post title and all. So post title, page title is H3. You can make it H2 if you want. Uh, title visibility, title hover underline. Okay, you can select select this thing if you want to hover and if you want underline and when you hover over this title, you can have that thing as well. Okay. Then after that, uh, thumbnail, it is fine. Excerpt, you can select. Maybe we can decrease the uh, number to 100. Okay. So it will display only 100 characters. For read more, we want to change this thing only text button. We don't want button, we just want text. Okay. And uh, for title visibility, you can do one thing. If you don't want this big title, you can set. Maybe we want only two lines. Now go to style and now let's style this thing. Let's see how we can style this thing. First, you will see page title. If you want to do some changes, you can select the typography. You can change the font family. You can increase or decrease the title like this. Okay. So if you want to do any changes, you can obviously do that. I'll bring this thing to default. Similarly for thumbnail as well. If you want to do some changes, you can select that thing for content. So maybe I'll select content first and under content. What I want to do is you can increase or decrease this size. So maybe I'll make it 14 pixels. And after that, for color, you can change this color to some color you want. If you want, you can make it black color or whatever color you want. Then after that, we have the button, read more button. You can select this thing. And here, as you can see, this is the uh, color for the button. We have the icon. So I'll select this thing. And uh, we'll, we want to make it bolder. So maybe 600 or 700 will do. Let's select 700. Change the color to this purple color. And after that, uh, actually go back to content. Uh, let's select uh, select the link, uh, select the settings, read more and show icon like this. Okay. Now again, come back to style, read more. And now as you can see, this is uh, how it is looking. Then after that, uh, if you want to change the uh, vertical position of the icon, you can change that thing as well. Okay. I'll select it one. You can also change the size of the icon and so on. Now select the card option, select card. Now for card gap and card padding and all, you can set this thing. So for content padding, I want to change this thing. So I'll select this first. I'll make it zero. I'll dealing this thing. Now from top, I want zero, but from right and left, I want 25. And from bottom, I want 20. Okay. Like this. Then radius also, I can select this border radius of 15 because here, as you can see, we have this, uh, uh, these things okay the corners are rounded a little bit so that is what we want border radius of 15 then after that we also want shadow if you see we have this shadow so uh, you will see box shadow click on this pencil button you'll automatically get this shadow all right so this is how it will look like now once you create more uh, more blog post it will keep on displaying over here now select this option edit section and you can increase this width to 1200 okay th th this will be a little bit wider so here as you can see this is where it starts but for this one this is starting a, a little bit further then after that we want some spacing or padding at top and bottom so for top and bottom i'll add 50 pixels so we have some space both at top also at bottom all right and with this we have completed this section as well i'll update this thing and finally we have our third section which is again a very simple section We'll add a new section and divide it into four columns. So select four columns. Now you can just copy paste everything from top. Most of the things from top. So I'll copy this divider, paste it over here. Copy the title, 
paste it over here. So you just have to, to copy or paste anything. You just right click on that, click on copy, then right click over here, click on paste. Now we have to do some changes. First of all, for this text, we don't want 50 percentage margin in this case. So we'll make it zero. Now for the title, I'll select the title and I'll add some spacing. I'll add line height of maybe 1.2. Okay. Or maybe 1.3. You can increase or decrease this number if you want. Then we have these options. You can display these images and at the bottom you can display the link when somebody clicks on this link or when somebody clicks on this text, they will be redirected to some website and once they make the purchase, you will get your own commission, your affiliate commission. So these are all affiliate links. Even if somebody clicks on this image, they will be redirected to some website. Let's see how that is done. So for that, first of all, you will search for some image. So we'll use the image element, drag and drop it over here. These all images are also uh, I have installed or I have downloaded these images from unsplash.com. So you can use that website and I'll show you how you can have same size for different images. For example, all three images are very different size, but we want to make it same size. Let's see how that is done. So first we'll choose the image. Let me upload these three images first. So it is under media folder. If you open the media folder here, as you can see, we have one image, another image and this three image. So I have all three images. Maybe let me upload uh, this image as uh, first. So I'll select this, click on insert media. Now under image size, we have to change this thing to custom because we want all three same images, all three images of same size. Now I'll change this thing width to 500 and height to 600. Click on apply. Okay. You have this image. Now below this image, we want to add the heading. So I'll drag and drop the heading and here, for example, I'll type in some laptop or whatever text you want. Then go to style, change the color to black. Okay. You can also change the size and all. Now, when somebody clicks on this text, I want them to be redirected to some link. So you can paste in that link over here. So maybe I want them to be redirected to my website blog dude. I'll copy the link and paste it under link. Similarly for image, you can click on image and under link, you can select custom URL and paste in this link. This would, this will be your. Uh, this is going to be your affiliate link. When somebody clicks on this thing, they will be redirected to your affiliate website. And once they make the purchase, they will get a commission. Now to save some time, I'll right click on this image, click on copy, right click, paste, right click, paste. Similarly with this text, uh, uh, right click on this, click on copy, right click, paste, right click, paste. Now for the second image, I'll just click on this image, replace it with this image and it will automatically be same size for the third image as well. Replace it with this image. Again, it will be same size because we have set this 500 and 600 width and height. Okay. Now you can just change the second text to maybe work software or whatever you want. Right. And you can change the link and all. Then you can click on update. And finally, you will select this edit section and we'll add some spacing at bottom. So padding at bottom 70 pixels so that there is some spacing between this bottom thing and this footer. Okay. We want this 70 pixels spacing. Now click on update. And with this, you have completed our home page. Now, whenever you create any website using Elementor or any page builder, this looks amazing. This looks perfect on desktop, but we have to see how this website will look on a mobile phone and on a tablet. So let's see how we can uh, do that thing and how we can make our website mobile and tablet friendly. So for that, you will see this icon at the bottom left a corner of your screen responsive mode icon click on this now select mobile and change the width if you see at the top right corner you have the width 360 change it to 400 which is the um uh, which is the common size for uh, these kind of devices now this is how it looks on a mobile phone not bad but we can still fix it we can make it better first we'll select this text okay we'll select this text we'll make it center most of the things in mobile phone, I wanted center. So I'll se select center, then go to style and select the typography and change the size, decrease the size a little bit. Okay. Maybe 47, 48. Okay. Now don't worry. Only these changes are taking place only in mobile phone in your, in your desktop and laptop or wherever you're uh, in, in big screens, basically it will look the same. Only these changes are taking in mobile phone. Similarly for the second text, I'll make it center. So go to style, make it center. This is looking good. We don't have to change anything for this text as well. I'll select this thing. First of all, make it center and then we'll also increase the line height. 
So line height instead of 0 0.3, I'll make it 1.3 maybe, or maybe 1.4 or 5 also, you can set this thing. Then this text is fine, this image is fine. Now here also 50% margin is not working properly, so we'll make it 0. Okay, select the text, margin 0. And rest everything is looking perfect, okay? So now your website is also 100% mobile friendly. You can click on update. And after that, you can go to tablet and do the same thing for tablet as well, right? And after that, you can close this thing. And with this, you have 100% completed your homepage. Now let's again, uh, let's actually come back to our dashboard. Now let's create all the other pages. Now the next page is going to be your blog page, a page wherein you will display all your blog posts. So if you go to my demo website and if you click on this blog thing, Okay, this is your blog page. So let's see how we can create this page now. So click on add new and give it a title of blog. Don't need to do anything, just publish it. Just go ahead and publish this page. Now, just like the home page, we have to set this page as a blog page. So again, under settings, click on reading and under post page, select this blog page and click on save changes. Now let's again come back to pages. We have to create one more important page. So I'll click on add new give it a title of contact us so that people can contact you to, uh, through this page. Now select contact us and under content layout, make it 100% full width and under title, make it disable. Then after that, you can publish this page. Now again, we will be using Elementor to design this thing. So click on edit with Elementor, but you don't have to do anything. You don't have to create it from scratch. I'm giving you a layout. You can simply import this layout on your website and uh, this will work for you. So to import the layout, click on this icon, uh, add template, second option. Now go to my templates. It will be empty because we have not yet added any template. You can import some template from here. So you have this import template button, click on this. Now click on select files. Now under, uh, under your media folder, you will see pages folder, open that. And under that you will see this, uh, uh, this file, blog chat G GPT contact page. Open this file, click on enable and import. Here you have this file, click on insert and this is your uh, blog page. First of all, we have the map at the top. You can change this location and you can enter your own location. So how you'll do that? You'll see uh, in this element at the top right on uh, of this element, we have this pencil button blue uh, section. Click on this and here you have the location. You can enter your exact location and this will get that location for you. You can even zoom in, zoom out a bit like this. Okay, now as you can see, you have this location. Now for this thing, first click on this thing and change this color to this black color. For the second text as well, change the color to this black color. Now for your phone number, email address, you can just click on that. Replace this phone number with your phone number, replace this address with your address and so on. Now if your contact page is not displaying properly, you can do one thing. Click on this thing. You will see this short code thing. Delete everything under short code. Now go back to your dashboard and click on contact at the left hand side. Here you will see this option contact form, copy this short code, come back over here, paste in this short code over here and now you will see your uh, contact form. Click on update and with this you have completed your contact page as well. Now again let's come back to our dashboard. Now let's create our menu. So to create your menu you will hover over appearance and click on menus and under menu name you can name it anything, I will name it main menu, click on create menu. Now whatever links you want, so I'll click on view all under pages. I want home page, blog page, contact page, all three pages. And if you want to display category pages, for example, here's you can see technology, travel tips. So you can click on categories and we had created one category WooCommerce plugins. Similarly, once you have more categories, you can add this thing. Okay. So I'll bring it over here. Make sure to tick mark this main at the bottom. Okay. Click on save changes. Now, if you again go back to your website and if you refresh it, You'll see your home page is working. You have this menu as well. Okay. Now let's again come back and actually let's do one thing. Let's uh, start, let's start customizing and final designing. So our footer is left and logo and everything is left. Let's see how we can design this thing. Final customization. So for that, you will click on this customize link at top, click on this link and we'll start from top. So at the very top, if you see uh, in this website that we are creating right now, there is some extra space at top of this menu. We don't want this space. This is for top bar. We don't want any top bar. So for that, we'll select uh, at the left hand side under customize, you'll see top bar. Click on that. Click on general and just untick this top bar and tick enable top bar. It will disappear. 
click on publish come back now let's see header related settings so click on header click on general and under header you can select background color so in this case we want this background color if you want some other background color obviously you can have that color as well so this is 9A56FF I'll get the color code I'll paste in the color code over here now once you have this background color uh, we don't want any border color so I'll do one thing I'll make it transparent so if you want to make it transparent you can do it like this you have this number at bottom bring it to zero it will become transparent now come back select logo and you can enter your logo so I have my logo I'll upload the logo from here it is under media folder this is my logo I'll upload the logo click on select skip cropping the reason I have this white logo is because I have this colorful background so that is the reason why I want this white logo you can also upload a retina logo retina logo is the same logo as you can see it is the same logo but the size of this logo is twice so or you can just multiply width and height and then you can create this logo click on publish come back now select menu now under menu link color we want it white so these colors will change to white so as you can see this is white now and uh, hover color will automatically change once we change the primary color but from here also you can change for, for example link background link background hover or link uh, a link hover okay you can change this thing to maybe yellow color when you hover over this thing it will change to yellow color something like that then we have uh, let's come back now let's select typography for example and select body first now under body change the font family to poppins okay everything will automatically become poppins and if you open a single blog post uh, this is how it is looking right now I want to change the font color to this black color so that it is easy to read this thing okay now click on publish this is also poppins which is fine then after that uh, you can you can change the font family for the menu as well so you can select main menu and make it poppins it is automatically poppins because we have changed the body font family to poppins but you can also increase or decrease the size of this thing okay like this then after that for the blog page if you open blog page this is how it is looking i want to change the blog page style so i'll come back again select block select uh, blog entries and over here you will see blog style change this thing to thumbnail then you will see the thumbnail style this style okay now it is looking better click on publish now again come back so select this option general options general styling and change the primary color so that all this blue color thing will uh, you know convert it into your primary color so under primary color we again want this color okay 80080 this is the color code so I'll paste in this color now as you can see what whatever links you want now you can uh, for this as well hover color as well but I'll just uh, change it transparency a little bit like this now click on publish again and now let's create our widgets for example if you see the blog page here under blog page here or if you if, if you open the single blog page as well at the right hand side we have these widgets search widget author widget newsletter widget all these widgets so for that you can come back to customize and you can select widgets option or you can select here here it is as you can see widgets select this now for default sidebar for this sidebar click on got it first we have this search so click on this plus button search for search element here it is okay it will display the search option then second we have uh, about me or we have the author option so click on this plus button select about I guess about is the name yeah about me here as you can see about me click on this and you will see this option and under this option we have the name so under name you can type in anything then we have the text okay name text then your Facebook link all your links you can add these links over here all right now for this image you can do one thing you have to uh, add the image URL so you can go back to your dashboard again let me open this dashboard go to media folder and whatever image you want for example if you want to display this image you can copy the file url here it is copy this link come over here paste it under image url select this paste it then this image will uh, appear for you okay like this then after that we have a newsletter so again we'll scroll down click on this plus button search for mailchimp and select this one mailchimp option you will select your mailchimp newsletter thing 
then we have the social uh, icon social media icons so again click on the plus button search for social and here's you can see we have social icons this one there is two social icon this one and this one we have to use this one social icon select this now paste in your social media links again i'll just paste in this link okay now this is how it is looking this gray color icon i want to change this thing to colorful icon so if you go at top you will see this thing style light make it colored okay we want colorful icons like this one and at the very bottom we have recent post so you can go at the bottom click on this plus button search for recent post and select this one don't select the latest post select this recent post option and it will display the recent post we want to display recent six post okay now click on publish now this is your sidebar if you open a single blog post as well this is going to be your sidebar okay which looks much better then we have our footer so under footer let's see again okay, we can come back and select footer option now before that again come back to the very starting and select footer widgets and by default we have four columns in the footer i will decrease this thing to one column because we want a very simple footer with one column okay so i'll select that thing then after that footer background color or whatever background color you want here in this case we have black color text color we want to change this thing to white color okay like this then we can change the link color and all these colors as well actually let's come back and let's select this option and then we have the footer text copyright text at the very bottom for that you will select footer bottom and uh, copyright leave this much copyright ocean wp date after that i'll type in made by nayar sheikh or whatever you want you can type in that thing now this is background color is black which is fine text color should be white all right yeah now it is looking better and you can also increase or decrease the size of this thing so if you want you can come back go to typography select footer copyright and increase the size maybe to 15 pixels now as you can see size is increased click on publish again now again come back to widgets and this time select footer one and now we can add all these footer widgets first we have this logo at top so we can search for image element select this image element media library we have this image so i'll select this logo click on select okay and i'll decrease the size of this logo okay like this do it like this and size will decrease maybe this much then after that we have the text subscribe to our newsletter so i'll click on this plus button paragraph type in this text okay bring it in center align center then we have this uh, newsletter thing click on plus button search for mailchimp select this thing all right we don't want anything we just want this form so no title i'll uh, delete the title don't want the title don't want text don't want gdpr thing uh, input width will select a width of 350 pixels okay under input width type in 350 px okay it will change the size here as you can see okay and text is your email then uh, submit text is go which is fine you can leave it as it is then after that uh, well, let's see what we have we have the social media icons so click on the plus button search for social icons again this one now whatever icons you want you can search for that again go to add in all your social media links all right then after that you can change the style what kind of style you want now in this case under style i want to make it simple only the icons like this and don't want the text follow us so i'll remove this followers text okay uh, it is looking a little bit different but we can fix it first publish it come back come back at the very beginning select custom css now open your media folder again under media folder under pages you will see css open this file copy everything come over here paste in this text and now as you can see this is fixed for you all right click on publish and footer thing again changed let's see footer bottom text color white fine publish it and i think with this we have completed this tutorial if i cut this thing let's again come back to the very beginning and with this we have completed this tutorial i hope you guys find this tutorial helpful if you find this video helpful if you want to watch more useful videos like this one make sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon 
If you like this video, give a thumbs up to this video, share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, whatever social media platform you use. And throughout the video, if you have any doubt, any comments, any suggestions for me, you can always leave them in the comments section below. And finally, thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next one.